Hi scholars, Miss Martinez here. And in science, we are learning about animals. Mrs. Sneller told us that there are six groups of animals, six types. We're gonna learn about the first group today called reptiles. Can you try to say that word, reptiles? Good job. Here's our goal for today. We are going to be able to describe reptiles. You'll be able to tell their behavior, what they look like, what they eat, where they live. But before we learn new facts about reptiles, do you already know something about reptiles? You can pause the video and share it with me or share it with someone in the room with you. Do you know something about reptiles already? Great. Let's learn more facts about reptiles in this nonfiction book called Sneaky, Scaly Reptiles by Karen Jones. The alligator, chameleon, snake, and turtle all have something in common. They are members of a group of animals called reptiles. Scientists put animals into groups based on their similarities, how they are the same. There are six main groups that we can put animals into and study and learn more about them. The groups are reptiles, birds, fish, amphibians, mammals, and invertebrates. So what are the bodies of reptiles like? Well, reptiles have dry skin, that is covered in scales or bony plates. Reptiles like snakes have smooth scales and reptiles like crocodiles have thick and tougher skin or scales. We learned about texture. Wonder what it would feel like if we put our hand on these scales. What are their bodies like? Reptiles have tails. Most reptiles, except snakes, have four legs. They use their legs and tails to crawl and swim. How do reptiles breathe? Well, all reptiles breathe air through their lungs, just like we do. Reptiles cannot breathe underwater, just like we can't. What do reptiles eat? Well, not all reptiles eat the same kind of food. Some reptiles like crocodiles and snakes are carnivores. Can you say that word? Carnivores. Good. That means that they only eat meat. Some reptiles like tortoises and iguanas are herbivores. Can you say that word? Herbivores. Herbivores only eat plants. Some reptiles like turtles and lizards are omnivores. Can you say omnivores? Can I say omnivores? Omnivores. That means they eat both plants and meat. Which one are you, a carnivore? Do you only eat meat? Are you an herbivore? Do you only eat plants? Or are you an omnivore? Do you eat both plants and meat? Hmm. How do reptiles reproduce? Well, most reptiles lay eggs. Baby reptiles hatch from the eggs. Some reptiles like tortoises, they only lay one or two eggs at a time. But some, like the python, can lay up to 50 eggs at one time. Where do reptiles live? Well, reptiles live all over the world, but mostly in warmer tropical places. Reptiles are cold-blooded. They have cold blood. So they need to stay in places that keep them warm and keep their body temperature steady. How do they adapt? Well, we learned that reptiles have scales and those scales help to protect them from predators. Predators are animals that want to hunt and eat them. The tough scales make it hard for predators to bite them. Scales also help to camouflage the animal. Camouflage is an adaptation that helps to keep animals safe. What does camouflage do? Good. 
It allows them to blend into their surroundings, to warn predators to stay away. Like this sand lizard, we can barely see him in all these leaves because the color of his scales match the color of the leaves around him. That way he can hide from other animals who want to eat him. Pretty cool. Here's another cool fact. Did you know that scientists think that many dinosaurs resembled reptiles? Because dinosaurs were believed to have thick scales, breathe air, and lay eggs, similar to reptiles today. Reptiles are one of many types of animals alive today. We just learned a lot about reptiles. So now, can you pause the video and tell me one thing you learned about reptiles, or maybe even two? Great listening ears, scholars. Now we're gonna play a game called Reptile or Not a Reptile. I'm going to tell you about an animal and how it lives, and you'll tell me that's a reptile or not a reptile. Here we go. Reptile or not a reptile. This animal's name is the clownfish. It has scales, hmm. it lays eggs. I know reptiles do both of those things. It breathes underwater, it eats plants, uses camouflage, and lives in warm water. Is this a reptile or not a reptile? Drum roll, please. Not a reptile. Yes, the clownfish is very similar to reptiles, but he breathes underwater, and we know that reptiles breathe air and cannot breathe underwater. So clownfish is not a reptile. Let's get a little quick wiggle break and act like a clownfish with our bodies. Good job. Here's our next animal. The green lizard. Listen to this fact about the green lizard. It has scales. It hatches from an egg. It breathes with lungs. It eats plants and insects. It uses camouflage and it lives in warm habitats. Reptile or not a reptile? Drum roll, please. Reptile. Yes, everything about this green lizard is the same as what we learned about reptiles. The green lizard is a reptile. What is it? Good job. This next animal is called a tree frog. The tree frog has wet skin. It hatches from an egg. It breathes with lungs. It eats plants and insects. It uses camouflage and he lives in a warm habitat. So reptile or not a reptile? Not a reptile. Yes, the first thing I told you about the tree frog is that it has wet skin. Reptiles have dry skin, so this tree frog is not a reptile. It's actually an amphibian, which we will learn about later. Reptile or not a reptile? The royal python. Listen to the royal python's facts. It has scales. It hatches from an egg. It breathes with lungs, it eats small animals, it uses camouflage, and it lives in warm habitats. Reptile or not a reptile? Drum roll, please. Reptile, yes. Everything I've just told you about the reptile or the royal python fits what we learned about reptiles. Good job. Next one, the pond turtle. Oh, he's so cute. Gators, he looks like our turtle, Terence. The pond turtle, listen up, has bony plated skin. It hatches from an egg. It breathes with lungs. It eats plants and insects. It uses camouflage and it lives in warm habitats. Reptile or not a reptile? What do you think? Drum roll, please. Reptile, good job. Oh, hello, rhinoceros. This rhinoceros has thick skin, hmm, like a crocodile. I wonder if it's a reptile. 
It is born alive, so it does not hatch from an egg. It breathes with lungs, it eats plants, has horns, and lives in warm habitats. Reptile or not a reptile? Hmm. Drum roll, please. Not a reptile. I told you that the rhinoceros is born alive. Reptiles are hatched from eggs. So, not a reptile. Pretty close, though. Ooh, alligator. This one is for my class, the gators. Chomp, chomp. Let's find out if our class mascot is a reptile. So, the alligator has bony, plated skin, hatches from an egg, breathes with lungs, eats plants and insects, uses camouflage, and lives in warm habitats. Do you think the alligator is a reptile or not a reptile? Drum roll, please. Reptile! Yes, my gators, we are reptiles in our class. Bet you didn't know that. Okay, friends, the chameleon, one of the most interesting animals that I know about. The chameleon has thick skin, hatches from an egg, breathes with lungs, eats plants and insects, uses camouflage, and lives in warm habitats. Reptile or not a reptile? Hmm, drum roll please. Reptile! Yes, everything about our friend the chameleon fits the profile of a reptile. You guys, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for playing that game with me. We just learned the names of lots of reptiles. So what I want you to do, on a piece of paper is to write a sentence that says a blank is a reptile and draw a picture of the reptile you chose. So you could do an alligator is a reptile and draw an alligator or a snake is a reptile and draw a picture of a snake. Go back to um, in the video, pick one reptile to write about and draw about and then on your paper, answer our two quick check questions. Do reptiles have scales and bony plates? And do reptiles have fur? Yes or no? Then take a picture and have a grown up upload it to our Google Classroom assignment today. Good job. Thank you for talking to me with, with me about reptiles today. See you later, scholars.